Joining us right now, prominent litigator, former Whitewater Independent Counsel, Robert Ray. Robert, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Your reaction to all of this? Uh, the, any accusation that Director Comey violated the Hatch Act is baloney. <laughs> and the, 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 uh, the contention by this group of 100 former federal prosecutors that uh, Director Comey has acted improperly is also similarly ridiculous. Uh, you know, this, the, what people don't want to accept is that when it comes to investigating presidents or potential presidents, the rules don't quite apply like they do to everybody else. And people have a hard time accepting that, but it's true. We live in a democracy, after all, and he's got an obligation to make sure that facts that are relevant to the decision about who we should be electing president of the United States are disclosed to the public prior to the election. I agree with you, and, and, and more so during a, a moment in time where we are 11 days away, which was, it was 11 days now, obviously we're a week away from the election. Because the bottom line is Jim Comey testified, and he said this investigation is closed. Then, a month later, he finds this new information. He felt that he needed to actually tell Congress, I just, and the American people, you need to know this is actually not closed. And I, even though I said that, now we have new information. And look, I believe strongly in this, and there are people on both sides of the political divide, of course, who feel strongly the other way. But, I mean, I don't agree with Eric Holder. I don't agree with Alberto Gonzalez. I don't agree with Mike Chertoff. The only person who made any sense out of all this was Bill Barr. Are, the former Attorney General of the United States, who said that Director Comey essentially was left with no choice. And any argument that he's acted improperly is really a consequence of the fact that, as far as Hillary Clinton is concerned, it's a self inflicted wound. Ex explain the, the Hatch Act. You say it's baloney that he violated. Explain what it says and why it's baloney that he. That he well, the Hatch Act gets to that. questions about, you know, people making decisions who are, you know, in government, uh, making partisan political decisions. And, you know, I, that's, it's a ridiculous notion. He's the FBI director. He's appointed to a 10-year term. It's intended for the FBI director by Congress that he be independent. That's the whole purpose. The reason his term is eight years is that it extends beyond the term of any president. If the American people had found out about these devices and these 650,000 emails after the election, he would have been accused of a cover-up. Absolutely. If period. he had done nothing and had sat on this, everybody would be screaming bloody murder about the fact that the public was entitled to know about this information. It wasn't disclosed. And they made a decision about voting for president without full information. Right. Well, hello, we live in a democracy. You know, get over it. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. So beyond pressing charges, um, when you look at Hillary Clinton and her top aides, um, 293,000 were classified emails, 193 were classified at the time. I could go on and on. So I understand that the director doesn't think that he can press charges. He made that clear. But what could and should happen to Hillary Clinton or her top aides, if, if nothing's going to happen to her, for the fact that they did violate security, uh, security information of the United States? It was passed outside of government channels, into private channels, into people that did not have uh, security clearances. So what, what can be done absent of, being, of pressing charges? Well, I mean, I think the people of the country need to make a decision about who they want to be president and whether this sort of behavior is, you know, tolerated. We're going to find out, I, I would think, fairly soon enough whether any of the email that has, that, that's recoverable from this laptop was email that was not disclosed to investigators previously. If they already disclosed it, then there's nothing that, the, that Hillary Clinton and her aides have to worry about. And it should have been disclosed in the first place. If